Hello everybody, my name is Shark Wayne and I'm back with another out not yeah see I did pretty well. <laughs> I'm back with a non son of a bitch. See this is pretty much why I don't do off the hook um with uh less dry because I tend to be a little bit tongue tied sometimes, so you know, oh well. But I'm back with another non-alcoholic beer, and uh, this one is from Holland. And uh, it's very interesting, actually. Um, uh, from what I understand, Holland is pretty good at making beer, so... And this is called Buckler. Um, and it's apparently... Well, it says it's brewed from, imported from Holland, and um, Buck has a uh, number 13, so you can see right there. I don't want it to make it look right there. And the bottle is kind of like a light brownish look, which is kind of very interesting. And that's my phone. <laughs> and it has kind of a white night kind of theme going on there, so it's it's not too bad, but um, it has kind of a pretty cool theme to it. Um, well this is not a twist tie like last time with uh, the other one, so I'm going to have to use um, a bottle opener. Alrighty, let's see how this baby tastes. Oh, it smells. Hmm. It's, it it kind of... It kind of smells like, um... It kind of smells like, uh, Heineken. Um, which is... I think it which is another beer from Holland, so um so I would have to say that's that's and I personally like uh I personally like um Heineken also, so that's a treat. Hmm. Okay, so yeah, to yeah, it totally smells like um Heineken. Hmm. Alright. No, actually I think Heineken's a German beer, so uh so scratch that. Um, maybe home. Well, actually, that's a different country. But you know, that goes to show how good I am in um, uh, geography. Right, let's see how this looks like. Okay, so it's a it's a light, it's a light beer. Mm -hmm. look, doesn't look that bad. And. Uh, Nice suds. Hmm. I can't really smell anything, really. It's not like, uh, well, actually, it still kind of smells like a light um, Heineken. That's about it. As you can see, it's kind of it's light. It's like a light beer. Or a light looking beer. Not like the amber that I had last time. Um, but, um, yeah, it smells like, um, it smells like, um, Heineken. Actually, that's what I could get from there. So, uh, let's check out how this baby tastes like. Cheers. Yeah, it kind of does taste like a Heineken, actually. Um, I like Heineken. It kind of has like a... Yeah, it has like a Heineken after aftertaste. And it's, it's not too bad. Has a little like a little sweetness to it, just a little bit. But it's another beer that actually non-alcoholic beer that is pretty good. Um, now, what I, if if I had to choose the um, old duels and this buckler? Um, I would probably have to say I would have 
um, maybe Old Duels, the, the Amber, because I do like Amber beers, and this is not too bad. It's, it's alright, you know, it, it has, it does have that Heineken taste to it, and I don't know if Heineken does, um, non-alcoholic beers, but if they do, um, I'm going to try it, but, but probably, most likely not, so. Yeah, it has like a little bit of a sweet, like a little sweet aftertaste after you swallow the 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 liquids. <laughs> but it's it's not too bad. It's good. Um, and of course, it's light because you know the alcohol content, which is very little. Um, but it's not too bad. It's it's a. Uh, I would have to say this is definitely uh, if you like Heineken uh, and you want to switch to a non-alcoholic beer, uh, go ahead and go with uh, Buckler. It kind of tastes like Heineken, but just a slight different with the aftertaste. Yeah. It's not too bad, um, but I it's a little bit not as flavorful as the amber, but just by a little. Um, hmm, hmm. But other than that, tastes pretty good. It's not too bad. Um, let's see now, how would I rate this? As you may know. My rating system is number one, which is basically water with carbonation and food coloring. So basically, not, just really just just throw it away. Don't just don't look at it. And number five, it's basically very close to beer without having it have alcohol in it. Um, I would probably give this. Um, mm, a 3.5 it's good it's it's not terrible but at the same time it kind of makes a little leap to it being a not too bad non-alcoholic beer but it's not but it's not as flavorful but it does make up for um, it not uh, of it uh, tasting like Heineken, just a slight taste of Heineken. So this is like, um, like I said, 3.5. Um, not terrible, but at the same time, uh, not good. But still, it has that 0.5 that makes it, makes it, um, makes it not too bad to try at least once. If you come across it and you decide, you know, uh, it's something to try, maybe like a, as a starter off beer to check it at, to check out what different kind of uh, non-alcoholic beers would taste like. This is actually a good starter for that. So, with that said, um, if you're with that said, um, basic, sorry. With that said, <laughs> if you decide to go out drinking, please, please, please drink responsibly. But if it's non-alcoholic, then drink up, motherfucker. <laughs>